Hello people and welcome back to the case Mega Man commentary. Mega Man 5's up. Let's go. Starting this with Chiro Man. And uh, the annoyance with this level is that there's this lift in the beginning so every time you fail you have to relive your uh, mistakes during this section and remember all the bad times. All the bad attempts that can bring you down. Really hate that lift. There's no enemies, no nothing in there, so I don't know what the reason is to include a section like that. Just for flair, I guess, but why in the uh, absolute beginning uh, as well? It doesn't make any sense to me. Gyro Man stage. Kind of reminds me of uh, Trill Man and Skull Man from Mega Man 4 in the sense that. There's a lot of small annoying enemies, but now you have pits as well, a lot of them as well, uh, so you have to keep uh, a close eye to your movement. And then a few tricky spots, but it's uh, probably one of the easier ones to do from Mega Man 5, and I believe that is the reason why I did this first. And. Uh, it's a, it's a case where you just go through the level a couple of times and already you'll see what you have to do. There's no real tricks to this. It's just about paying attention, memorizing where everything is, and it really doesn't require more than a handful of tries to see how to do this. and. Uh, you don't even have to get the letter on the bridge uh, section, so that makes it even more easy because you don't really have to. Uh, you just have to learn how that works. You can just uh, hammer this level down. Nice that they uh, give you a teaching element, on, uh, teaching element on this, so you know that they are coming, and then they introduce the bridge. Making this uh, look a bit harder than it needs to be. But I'd imagine that I didn't try this level too many times. So the less attempts you have on a level, the more luck based it's gonna look. Because you don't really. you haven't learned all the ins and outs of it. See, if I uh, repeated this for a thousand times, then I'd imagine this would look a lot better in terms of speed and uh, skill. But if you just play a stage for 10 tries and then you beat it, it is gonna look a little bit scrambled. But that's just the nature of the challenge. But as you can see, there's really no problem spots at all in this. Gyromath stage in a way reminds me of Mega Man 9 for some reason. But if this was in Mega Man 9 it would probably be the worst level well, no, I actually think Charmander stage is probably better than Splash, uh, Splash Woman stage. In some areas, at least. Chiro Man himself goes up behind the clouds, comes back down, and hurls Chiros at you. That's pretty much it. You uh, lure him to the other side of the screen, which is probably the most important thing about this. If you. Uh, don't lure him to a certain spot, you have less room to battle him. Because if you're in the middle of the screen while, uh, when he's coming down, then uh, yeah, your room is limited to dodge his attacks. It really does seem like uh, he just randomly decides if he's gonna go up or hurl a gyro. But it also makes me think that there's probably a limit on how many he's gonna throw. He's probably not gonna throw 10 in a row, so there's probably a cap like that. I think most I've seen is 3, but usually it's just 1 or 2, most of the time. You can see here uh, how many he uh, throws now. That's 3 already. Is there gonna be one more? Nope. Makes me think that 3 is probably the maximum. So after 3 uh, gyros, you'll know that he's gonna go up. Kinda the same thing with Galaxy Man, he only does uh, certain things. Uh, a set number of times, after which he changes up. So if they do the maximum amount, you know that next time they're gonna do something else. 
Chiro meant of really simple. I should be taking more shots, but I'm not, because it uh, probably took so little uh, attempts that I didn't really have the grasp to the fight. But certainly it could be a lot faster. I was probably afraid of missing if he would have gone up. And that's Chiro Man. Wave Man has the honor to be next. One of my least favorite uh, stages of all time. I just really don't like this. It's uh, never been fun, never been good. I suppose the uh, main problem in this is the uh, water jet section. It requires uh, a lot of finesse. Other than that, I don't really see a problem here. You just uh, repeat the water sled section enough times. Or the uh, water ski section and... Uh, I think it's uh, officially called wave bike. But I could be wrong. <coughs> but... Yeah, that's pretty much the uh, only issue here. Which can be overcome by uh, repeating the uh, section so many times you, you could do it in your sleep. Where you can... You could do it uh, your eyes closed. And again, horrible ghosting in this clip. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about it? So it's nothing else than getting to the uh, wave bike section. The beginning really no issues right there. So this is uh, the main problem here. This is hard to watch, so much ghosting, but it is what it is. This is how the episodes were. You have to keep in mind here that these shows can come from behind you. Just have to remember when they do. You don't want to be too far to the right. But you also don't want to be too far to the left. And I would avoid shooting things if you can. Because that's an easy miss. The hitbox of this minibus is uh, horribly small. So that's gonna be part of the problem. What I like to do here is that I wait for the hitbox to come down to the same level and then fire. I don't like to uh, jump and fire because that's very easy uh, spot to miss. So I'll wait for the hitbox to come to me rather than to uh, try to fight it. That way it's a lot easier and then uh, kite the shot down. That way uh, you'll save yourself from a lot of trouble. It's gonna take a while but it's worth it do it like that. And then obviously, again we don't have to get the litter which is good. Saves us uh, some trouble. But two of the fish will be in uh, problematic spots anyway. So just have to... Uh, yeah, those jumps are ridiculous. Just have to repeat this enough times where uh, we have everything down and memorized. This... Uh, it's one of those times in Mega Man 5's history when you forget to breathe. All of those were extremely close. And they will be close every time, because there's really no clean way to do this. That's ridiculous, look at that. Right from between the fish. And now the game is playing itself through that screen there. And then just one random cannon. Just to tease us. Imagine uh, missing there. Wave Man again. Has Toad Man Syndrome. If you know how to exploit it, he will fire his uh, arrow and then he will raise one single uh, wave up. And you can shoot through the wave if you're close enough. I just sometimes wish not to try that because that could be a miss. I think you can shoot through that, but why take the risk? Just go back and forth. One shot is enough uh, for me anyway. And the wave never comes from under you, so as long as you uh, stand still, you're uh, clear. Just like with the moles in Metal Man stage, just, uh, just know that things can't come from uh, below you. And there we go. The uh, little cousin of Ice Man stage. 
lot of this is uh, manipulating the enemies here in the beginning so that the heads don't come after you like that. So I'd rather shoot them when they are facing right. Some panic sections in this level and probably the biggest issue for most people is the uh, crystal trapper sections. So that's where uh, shit can hit the fan if you don't know how to do it. Basically the easiest strategy is to jump right after a crystal has dropped. So that is an easy way to do it. You don't have to stand there and wait for a pattern, just jump every time a crystal passes you. There's always enough time. And believe me when I say that, every time there's enough time. There we go, not too hard, right? If you don't know that, that's gonna be uh, one of the more tedious stages for you. Crystal Chose I always felt like was a nice idea. I guess it's just required a better stage to go with it. And here is where they uh, introduce two uh, things at the same time, the Crystal Chose and the Crystal Troppers. Still not a problem, take the character show first and then move and watch out for your head, which I did not. That could have been a, an easy hit on me. I'm really making sure on these runs that I don't miss, so I'm going extremely slowly, which is understandable. I could just jump and fire three times and that'd be it. But like I've said many times during these uh, episodes. Why risk it? There's no reason to risk it. I've never actually looked at these platforms. I, I don't think I've noticed that they are also blinking. Like they have multiple different colors. Never noticed that before. And I hit my forehead on the platform. Have to reset the room. What a dumb placement for the platform right there. Take care of another panic room, that's uh, the second one now, with these enemies coming at you as soon as you transition. Shield attacker, extremely uh, angry, goes through the entire uh, screen there. Have to know that's coming. And here is where you can drop on enemies if you're not careful, that's why I'm not dropping straight down. Go down from the left side, right there. Idiotic uh, design there. That's an, uh, a sure way to end your run, drop on enemies after a transition. That should have never been a thing anyway. Hitting these mice is uh, extremely difficult as well. They have uh, a much uh, shorter hitbox than it looks like. And I get the litter for no reason at all. And this is just about luring these out so that they don't just keep going uh, and banging themselves on the walls here and then you have yourself uh, a problem so just lure them out individually for easy times and more of them a lot of panic rooms in this level which uh, don't get me wrong is different luckily they give you uh, an easy spot to uh, deal with this guy Maybe uh, not the best uh, thing decision-wise, but maybe not the best thing uh, design-wise, but hey, it works out for the challenge. I'm grateful for this uh, incredible room. And then Gyro Man, yet another Toad Man Syndrome boss. If you're uh, right next to him, at all times he will not fire his uh, crystal balls which he does here in the beginning every time but after that if you're close to him and you keep he uh, give him the uh, toad man treatment this is all he does so the only thing you have to worry about in this fight is uh, looking if he st stops at the top or not if he doesn't you can lay some shots in if he does stop just uh, dodge the shot so yet another example of a boss where uh, the uh, space between you and the boss makes a difference. So another one you want to deal with uh, in point blank rate. 
Just that the only thing you really have to worry about is uh, if he stops, because then you know you have to dodge a bullet. It's a uh, good telegraph on it. You're gonna see uh, he's gonna shoot you. Kind of a lackluster sprite on the boss, I think. But that's Crystal Man. Starman. The different level out of all of these in the uh, sense that this has low gravity. And what is important to know about Mega Man 5 is that the enemies have iframes, and that's really uh, the thing you should know. So if you fire at enemies too fast, you will miss your shots, and you don't probably even no notice that. So if you fire fast, these uh, up and down fellas can take uh, 5 shots if you rapid fire too fast. When uh, in reality they should die, uh, when in reality they die to 3 shots. So, spacing out your shots in Mega Man 5 is essential if you don't want to miss. That is uh, really a, a bad design flaw in Mega Man 5's part. That's interesting, I didn't remember I did, I did that section like that. Interesting strategy. But keep that in mind, uh, every time uh, you do a no-miss on Mega Man 5, don't rapid-fire enemies. Because you'll miss and not even know about it. I should have mentioned that right from the get-go, but there's uh, so much other things to talk about that I forgot. I always love the screen, I love that. That's an extremely fun trick to do. And I take care of these cannons from afar, because why not? It's cute that you can shoot them even when they are down, because you can see part of the sprite. That's a, a good design. And now that the uh, those cannons are taken care of from the right side, it's easier to make that. And both of those minibus things can be skipped. And that is just extreme timing right there, probably the hardest section in this level. Those mets coming at you. Nothing else really uh, gives you so much trouble that you would pull your hair out. But that met screen is uh, a bit ridiculous. So here's the other one. Dodge lasers and then go. Just uh, an extremely tight uh, window to jump. And uh, gotta be careful not to hit your uh, head on the spikes. Starman, one of the slowest robot masters to fight. There's nothing more you can do but to wait for him uh, to shoot his shield out like that and then fire. Without uh, the weakness, it's gonna take a long time. It's one of those bosses. Really, uh. Could have done a lot better job on this uh, design-wise. He has no other attacks but this. He just fires the shield out and does nothing else. Uh, imagine all the things you could do with a boss like this with low gravity. But... Just a... Uh, missed opportunity right there. So that's really the optimal way. Shoot him once in the air and shoot him again when he lands. If he's at the top. That's when you have enough time to do that. Probably could do it on the ground as well. But for the sake of the challenge, that would be uh, stupid. So this is uh, a patience game right here. And that's taken care of. Then we have uh, definitely the longest level in the game if not even the longest from the original six Mega Man titles on the NES. Certainly uh, makes me yawn every time I think about this. There's really nothing hard about this, just go through it. This was also one of the uh, ones I did live on Twitch. I figured this was an easy one to do. And uh, so it seems like I can't fathom uh, Anyone spending too much time on this. Probably took me half an hour to do this. If you're at all comfortable with Mega Man, this should be no issue. But if you're new to Mega Man, Storm Man stage could be a good uh, starting point for your challenge. So is uh, Cut Man. 
Splash Woman stages like that, where you don't have to fire too much. Uh, actually, in Splash Woman stage, you don't have to fire at all until you get to the boss. Stone Mass stage, all about just going through it. No real problem areas, no real hazards. It's just about keep uh, keeping the uh, rhythm, so to say. We're just uh, keep going on. I don't know what the thing is at the top right there. Well, now it vanished. Never mind. Probably some kind of a uh, problem with the live uh, stream that I had. It's important to note that you can shoot through these. Uh, Guys, shields mm, will make that uh, area a lot more uh, safe. Plus, you don't have to uh, try and trick those flying enemies. So, that's uh, a good strategy. Good thing to know. Uh, you don't have to spend time here getting the E tank, which is nice. Really, it sucks how when you get the E tank, the platforms disappear and then you have to uh, go and. Uh, Scroll them back in, that's really stupid. But there is really just mets and bats and shields and flying things. It's just a, a yawner of a stage. I'm not sure why I went to the bottom. Is there a reason for it? Maybe that met is in a difficult spot, I can't remember. Yeah, I guess that's it. I don't know, maybe that was an accident. <laughs> But it looked intentional, and I can't remember doing that. But that is Stormass level, Storm level, extremely long, tedious. Just uh, not difficult. That's the worst thing you can have, a boring stage that doesn't really challenge you in any way. Kind of a waste. So, again, uh, the space between you and the boss comes into play. If you're far away, he will fire his power stone. But if you're close, he never does. All he does is jump around. But it's important to know that you don't want to shoot at him when he's crumbling down because that'll ding your shot. He's on his iframes at that point. So I like to shoot him when he lands. So that's probably the best timing. But don't shoot it after. Because apparently when he's a pile of rocks, it doesn't work. Flawed Robot Master again. And if you really want to challenge, try and stay uh, far away from him. You'll see what happens. It's, it's still not hard, but it's harder. Napalm Man's turn. This is all about uh, dodging the cats. And uh, in the perfect world, you could also kill them. But the ones that you can dodge, you should. They are annoying as hell to deal with. And why waste shots when you can do it without? So this footage is starting to look a little bit better than the uh, rest. <laughs> Looks a bit more clean. Panic room. Have to be careful not to ding your shots on the mid. It's still on his iframes when he's uh, shielded down. And here, three shots each. Don't wanna rush this. As to not get killed, that is an insta-kill. But also doesn't uh, make a difference in this challenge. One hit is basically an insta-kill for us. This is a fun section, I always like this. So you, lure the, uh, you lure the enemies out and dodge the helicopter shows or Apache shows. Fun little uh, tippy-toeing action here and uh, luring action. I really like this section. Just have to know to get rid of that. That... One specific Apache show because the, uh, he'll uh, come after you to the ladder and uh, hit you. You don't really uh, understand how powerful they can be if you uh, let them live. And this is uh, the problem with this level. I remember having uh, issues with this, so hitting these guys and then hitting the missile. Ridiculously difficult because they raise their hands up and that's when they are on their iframes, so you'll miss a shot if that happens. This uh, looks easy when I do it like this. But took a lot of attempts. So that is the main issue in Napalm Mass stage. Nothing else really uh, grinded my gears. 
once those are uh, done with, you can uh, breathe again. You can concentrate on the rest. Uh, not fuck it up. And again, another uh, easy uh, spot for this. Big eye clone. Where you can handle it. I think you can also scroll it off. But hey, whatever works, right? It's a time loss, but doesn't matter. And I love how Napalm uh, stage has pretty much nothing to do with Napalm. There's tanks at the, like in the background, but the enemies and such. Yeah. What is so Napalm about this? I have no idea. Maybe these balls? I don't know. Just a... A dumb idea for a level. The Robot Master isn't too much better. We're at the end of the uh, level here. The end of the stretch. And the last pit does not have an up and down. I guess that's a joke. I'm laughing. Napalm Man, like a lot of others in Mega Man 5, work differently depending on where you on, are on the screen. If you're far away, he will fire missiles. If you're close, he will fire Napalm. You wanna be close? Because that way, you guessed it, back to Toad Man. Toad Man Syndrome. So you just shoot him, dodge the missiles, shoot him, dodge the missiles. Nothing else to it. If you go far away, the missiles will come. If that happens, uh, your best bet is to jump uh, over each of those individually. But you don't want to let that happen. There's no reason to. Really no reason to do that. A lot of these Robot Masters, especially Mega Man 5, they're gonna be a lot more difficult if you don't know how they work. So you can't just try and wing it. Well, you can, but you'll have a hard time. That's the uh, positive thing about this. Learning these makes this a hell of a lot easier. Gravity Man was uh, one of those live runs again on Twitch, back when I used to have an account. So this is one of those live runs. And I ha used to have a lot of problems with Gravity Man stage, because, uh, well not the stage, the stage is easy, but the boss himself is the problem. I uh, People were, w were wondering what the problem is, I honestly don't know. It's kind of the same thing than with Skullman. There's just uh, just something about it that is so difficult for me. Maybe it's my hand-to-eye coordination or something else. I just really had problems with it. Took me a long time to beat Gravity Man for no real reason. Like he's supposed to be easy. But it's so easy to miss against him. I don't know why that is. I think uh, Felon... Uh, Took it down pretty easily, and I think so did uh, and I think uh, so did Shigeroxen. They just deemed it easy, and for me it was a, a huge pain in the ass. The stage really uh, is taking care of enemies at your own pace. Nothing really comes at you. They just waddle around like turds, or that, or they just stand there doing nothing. And you can mess up the uh, gravity cycle like that, so that you'll have an easier time. If you go back and forth on the uh, mechanic a few times, it kind of breaks. This is the one screen where you have to be a kind of a, have to be kind of fast there. You can do it in other ways as well, but that's the easiest one. So here's Gravity Man. Let's see uh, how much trouble we've had on this successful successful run. The closer you are, the easier it is. And the worst part about this is that he does have a pattern, and I still suck at it. I think it's a... Uh, I can't remember uh, anymore what the pattern is. It's like shoot, shoot, swap, jump. But there's a, a pattern that he does every time. He, he just doesn't change up ever. It's the same every single time. So knowing that, should make it easier, but I'm just really careful about my shots. Hmm. <clears throat> I 
I remember uh, I was trying to figure out the pattern on the go when I was live. I was just uh, repeating uh, shoot, shoot, jump, shoot, shoot, jump, whatever I was repeating to myself. Just to have a good chance at this. That's the cat uh, having her commentary on top of this. You've gotten food, you've gotten... Uh, that's... Uh, I'm reading the chat at the same time. But uh, should be what should be an easy stage was not easy for me. Whatever the reason was, I just have no idea. Some things are just difficult for uh, other people. Some things are easier. For example, uh, me beating Brightman on my first go might be a uh, more ass luck. But I still did it on my first go. And here I am struggling with Gravity Man for a long time. Hilarious. That was close. Hey. Taking my sweet time with this as well. Oh, I fell asleep. My bed. So that's Gravity Man. A lot of uh, up and down action. And I'm not even taking any shots anymore. Yeah, I'm so uh, afraid of uh, missing. Eesh. There we go, Jesus. Archman himself is probably the problem here. And I'm not sure if this was done live or not, but there is a chat on the screen. Yep, this is live. I do like how some of these are live as well. Gives you the... Uh, warm feeling uh, where you know that there's a real person doing these challenges just uh, not sh not some kind of a robot so that's fun uh, fun to see I guess stage not bad not overly uh, not mechanically difficult it's just that gravity man has a certain pattern and if you don't know that it's gonna be one of the hardest uh, Wants to do in Mega Man 5, and it probably still is. Charge Man uh, all together is probably the hardest one. And here it's uh, important to note that you can uh, scroll down, uh, scroll off the uh, mice. Don't have to fight them. One's gonna come from here. Just uh, overtake it. So first your. Uh, on top of the train, then you go in the cargo area, back to the top and back to the cargo area once more. And at that point you fight uh, Charge Man. It's an interesting level. It's an alright level. I don't hate it. And Charge Man himself, I like the fight, it's hectic. And there's a very specific strategy that Felon came up with that I... I'm not sure if I use in this, probably. Because why wouldn't I uh, use his strategy? I like figuring stuff out on my own, like I said previously. But some things I'm pretty sure I would have never figured out. Charge Man's pattern is one of those. I would have never figured that out on my own. I have no idea how uh, Phil figured that out. It's one of those things that you see it and you're like... What is he doing? And just for shits and giggles there's one of these at the end. Just lovely. So much fun to miss on that last room. And here's Charge Man. And this is the whole pattern. Really lovely. Yep, he can still randomly charge at you and kill you. But this is the best way to tackle with this uh, pattern of his. So you wait for him to come to the edge, jump over him, go back and forth once, and then go to the other side. That's how you beat Charge Man. Really interesting. And then <laughs> remember to watch out for the call as well. Good telegraphs on the bus. Can't hate it. So, really, you're just walking away from Charge Man. And uh, just watch out for his random charges. That's uh, my only advice. Pattern recognition is what this is all about, Phil says. I say that's bullshit. 
We just made this up from your head. In any case, I love you for this. For being like uh, four years of work for me if I didn't know about this. So I can be grateful for uh, this piece of advice. Really hectic fight. And that's Mega Man 5 done. And I'll catch you uh, again on Mega Man 6.